Hi guys, I'm Sarah and welcome back to another video. If you're new here and you've never seen my face before, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button at the end of this video. Also hit the like button if you do like this video. I'm going to share today my clothing haul with you guys. I think all over India, the end of season sale is going on. Um, as you all know, I'm a 19 year old college girl. If you don't know, then I am a 19 year old college going girl. And my fashion and my style is very, very basic. It's mainly like t-shirts and uh, loose t-shirts, baggy shirts, something of those sorts or tight shirts. Basically, I live in t-shirt and jeans all day, all night. Uh, so that's what it's gonna be like so if you're a college going teen or if you're basic like me you're going to relate a lot to this haul without blabbering too much I'm gonna get right into the haul okay first starting with I went to my holy grail brand like this is the brand I go to whenever I need my basic and that is H&M like my entire wardrobe if not the whole wardrobe at least 90% of the wardrobe is H&M, even this Rolling Stones t-shirt is H&M. I think they do a fab job in including everything you need. Like you get formal pants, blazers, shirts, normal casual t-shirts and everything, everything like dresses, jumpsuits, everything. But I go there for my basics and this time the sale was pretty damn good. Like I've gotten super cheap stuff from H&M so I'm going to dive right into this bag. So the first item is this pink and green shirt. It's this super loose, super baggy shirt. It's extremely baggy but it's actually supposed to be that way because this is a size 38 and I'm a size 42, like Europe 40. Two, this is Europe 38. Um, the original pricing of this was 1800 and in sale I got this for 350 bucks. So this was super cheap. The material is so soft, it's so comfortable. Like in this weather, I just want to live in this shirt. It's super baggy the way it falls like on my sleeves, it just falls down. I can roll up my sleeves, I can tie it from down, or I can tuck it inside a high waist jeans and this will look damn good. I like wearing such shirts and the main reason I think I got this was this color. This color combination in checkered is something I've not gotten before. It's a really good color combination for checks so that's why I got this. The next top is a white basic t-shirt. Basic is gonna be the drill in today's video. So it's super super basic. It's plain white. 90% of my wardrobe is also white. I love white shirts and it just says H&M social right over here and this is threaded So it's not like those rubbers which is gonna come off. It's good material. It's very comfortable again Pure white very soft cotton. This is in the size medium. My tops are mostly medium or small and um, This was 1000 and I got it for 250. So again a steal Next, this is uh, also cotton but on the front I think this material is a little different. Uh, my mom actually liked this, I didn't like it that much. She thought it was cute because of there are like these diamond and pearl detailing. It's plain white again and just random diamond and pearls here and there. So it's very very basic and random. So the pricing on this was uh, 1300 and I got it for 450 bucks. And this is in a size small, so it fit me really, really well. Actually, I didn't even try the clothes in nature, and I know my size is small or medium, so I pick up one of those. The queue for trials was a lot, so I didn't even bother. Now, this one item I got was off shoulder. Now, I won't be wearing this to college because it's not allowed to wear off shoulders in college. And this is very basic, like this material is hoisery, it reminds me of my pajama bottom materials. But uh, so that's the reason I think I got it only for 250 bucks, so it was damn cheap. This was originally priced at 1000 but definitely doesn't look like 1000 worth. This is one of those off shoulders like if I do this it's gonna ride up. But I think it's cool for a color element in my wardrobe because I don't have this tropical green color. Or like just for adding a color element to my wardrobe I picked up this green. I was looking for different colors if you notice. Apart from the two white shirts if you notice the other things I've bought there is one color element to it because most of my wardrobe is white, black or grey so I wanted to add colour to it. So that's the reason I got this. I see myself wearing it when I go down to meet my friends or maybe just for shopping or something very very casual. Definitely not to college and definitely not for formal occasions. It uh, falls really well down, it has this boho leaf print going on and it's soft and comfortable so I think it's cool. Next. And the last item I got from H&M was not in sale but anyways I paid just 800 bucks for this and this is like a cute cute turtleneck uh, top. I love the color on this. It's such a nice bright uh, 
but you know it's a mustard bright yellow like I don't know how to explain it's not mustard like too much on the deeper grey tones but this is more on the yeah this is like a sunrise mango color like yeah this is a mango color and the turtleneck if you feel that this is gonna be so hot for you Sarah in this Indian weather it is not this is a ribbed material it's a very very thin fabric going on over here and only the turtleneck and the full sleeves might make me feel hot so I can wear it in winters or I can wear it when I'm going for dinners or like places which are air conditioned so I think that's cool for that I definitely won't wear this to college but I love the color I think I'm, I'm really attracted to yellow these days like I, I go in malls and search for yellow but I don't find that much so even though this was not on sale I was like I want this yellow t-shirt so that was all I, oh no, I got a pair of sunglasses from H&M, I will quickly show them to y'all. By the way, Forever 21 has shut from everywhere in Mumbai. Usually I pick up my sunglasses from Forever 21, but now that it's shut, I found these reflectors in H&M and I have been dying to get my hands on a good pair of reflectors. So when I saw these and uh, they, I felt they look nice on me and they are rose gold and they are very very good quality. So 800 I think for this quality is damn good because for anyone sunglass quality is not that great. It feels really luxurious because it's damn heavy and uh, this is what it looks like on me. I think it looks really nice because bigger sunglasses suit my face really well. So I think I like it. I'm going to be wearing it a lot so you'll see me in see this in my Instagram stories a lot. Uh, so this was the final thing I got from H&M. After H&M, I went to Veramoda and only again my whole wardrobe is H&M, Veramoda only. Uh, mostly H&M but then I do buy one or two items from Veramoda. So from this, the only thing I bought from Veramoda was this top right here. Uh, Veramoda mostly gets very expensive, like their pricing is anything, okay? It's like 2300 and stuff for basic t-shirts and then they bring it down after 50% to 1250 which is not, I feel, worth it for basic t-shirts but when it's like shirts like these, I feel it's definitely worth it. This color is beautiful, it's a pale pink nude color and it's very very good material, like I feel like this material is going to last like after a lot of washes also is gonna last plus I feel I'm, I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this top because I can wear this to dinners, lunches and formal events in my college and also even if I want to be fancy someday in college I can wear it because it's not so fancy it's full sleeves with this tying thing over here so it'll give a little bit of a puff effect there's pearl details over here I'm not a huge fan of pearl detailing but it's just in this patch and it adds a little something to the shirt so overall, mainly I got it for the color and the way it was looking on me. I really like this. So I paid, um, this was originally for 2500 and I paid 50% off, so whatever, 1250 or something. And I, the size over here is large. It's the only thing actually I liked in Veramoda this time. The collection in Veramoda was not great at all. There was nobody in, inside the store also, I was alone and the collection was so so it wasn't that great okay so the final three tops i have is there are the final three yeah yeah so the final three tops i have is from only which is a partner brand with veramoda but they are more basic and they do these cute things on their t-shirts so same goes for this red hot red t-shirt that i picked up from only the material on this is what attracted me first because this material is ribbed but it's so soft it's so soft it's not funny how comfortable this is going to be when I wear it. I did try it on and looked really good on me. Uh, the sleeves are also cropped up up till my elbow or just above my elbow I think and uh, the main detail over here on the neck it says ironically under construction and then it says almost done right in the center. So I think I found it really cute plus it's a hot red color so again a color element. This I can wear to college of course I will be wearing this to college. So this was my first job. How much I paid? This is in the size small. Uh, I paid fifteen hundred and then forty. I think seven fifty something for this top. The material, I think, because of the material, it's priced highly because the material is really good. Uh, the next top is basic. I paid only four fifty for this one. It's an olive green. I do have some olive green going on in my cupboard so I didn't really need this but the, again it's a basic shirt it adds some variety for my college wardrobe and this I got in the size medium I paid 450 but it was originally 1000 
Uh, it says rebel child over here, stitched, this is stitched over here. So I think that is really cool because it goes with my personality. And other than that, it's totally basic. So the, I really like how the neck falls on me. Like it's the cropped neck and it falls a little deep. So I really like it. And behind it has this cactus uh, printed over here with a moon. I don't really care for this, but I like the stitch work going on on the shoulders. So that was that. Like you can see there's a lot of color going on. Like look at the colors I have over I'm really happy I got so much color selection. And the last, last item in this haul is again a yellow shirt because I again color. Uh, this is yellow and white checks. Again checks. Uh, and uh, this is in the size 40. So this has this frill detailing going on over here. And on the sleeves once I wear it it looks really cute. And it's a very... Um, bright like it's a happy color I, this is that yellow was a mango yellow that was very very different like different tones absolutely this is more bright this is something i will definitely wear to college and definitely wear for lunches so this i paid this was uh, 1800 and i paid i think 750 800 for this top so that was about eight and oh there's this one last item I'm going to quickly show you all I went to Shop is Top and Shop is Top is like this hub, it's like lifestyle and stuff like that. They have everything. So I got these jeans from US Polo. So when it comes to denims, I have a lot of denims and pants going on right now. That's why I did not buy any. But my dad really insisted that I get a good pair of jeans. So he took me to, like my mom was trying on jeans and then he told me to try this on. And I really liked it. The color is amazing. There's no ripped and any detailing going on. So that's perfect for my college. Because I go to a medical college and it's not allowed to wear ripped or any of those fancy elements in my college. So this has no such detailing going on. So I think it's perfect for college plus it's high waist. So with all the tops that fall short for me or one or two crop tops which I have in my wardrobe, perfect. I love high waist denims because they can even hide my paunch very easily. And the material for US polo guys, I, I think I got a very good price for this. This is 2500 and it was flat 50 so I paid 1600 for this denim which is Fabulous. Denims are an investment. Bottoms are always an investment. So I don't know how much. What is this waist size? My waist is what? My waist is actually 36 but nowhere over here it's mentioned. Oh yeah it is 36. Waist 36. And my mom already has one US polo jeans. This is my first US polo denim. But my mom has one and she's washed it a hundred number of times and the color and everything does not fade. So. I give one A plus for that one item that I bought in the bottom selection. Apart from that, I've not bought anything. No shoes, no accessories because I didn't have time. I literally, because of my exams, my time was really scrunched up. So I had to go on the last day of the sale and grab whatever I could. Uh, I will see you in my next video. Tell me which was your favorite item from this haul. Let me know in the comments. Let me know what y'all shop. Because I'm definitely sure everybody made the best of this sale. People were going crazy in malls, so I'm pretty sure you guys also made the best of it. Let me know in the comments, let's have a good chat. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you're new here, I always keep saying that. And click on the notification bell, so you get notified every Thursday and Sunday when I upload. Until then, bye, take care, have a good week, and I will see you next Sunday. Bye! Mwah.